Hello everyone, it's Shannon with Shannon's Crafty DIYs. Welcome to my channel. Today I have the exciting ABC dip recipe for you. I know you guys have requested it, so I am showing it to you. I did make it for the Easter weekend, just for Craig and I, just for something to have special. And again, remember it is stands for almonds, bacon, and cheese. Let's begin. So these are the ingredients, uh, bacon, cheese, uh, almonds, and of course you have to use Hellman's mayo and I will explain why later. So here I am just frying up the bacon. Now I don't like it too crispy. It's really up to you. How crunchy do you want this cheese dip? I mean, the almonds will be crunchy already, but me, I just like my bacon not super crunchy because remember too, when it sits on the plate, it does cook a little bit more as well and it gets hard. So I think this is what I like, just like that. You can see here. You've seen me haul these before. I love using the almonds from the Dollarama. So I actually just use this whole bag of almonds. I believe it's 75 grams. And this is the right amount. Now, I love this dip. This dip can last in the fridge for up to a week. So that's why I make this whole bag. So I'm just going to toast them. Now, you'll know when they're toasted, when they become a little bit burnt on one side. Not burnt in the, the sense that it's going to um, uh, taste bad. But you just want them to crisp up and you'll tell when they're ready when they start to crackle i know i'm trying to let you hear it now but i'm talking through it too so anyway uh yeah so now that they're all done i just place them on my bamboo cutting mat i love this thing from the dollarama it works so great and as i'm, I'm just letting them cool just a little bit it is always easier to cut them when they are a little bit warm so here i am just chopping them up and again, this is all customized to you as well. Like you guys can cut or uh, as finely as you want. I, again, I love crunchy things, but I used to be in a dental, I was a dental assistant once and I'm not in there anymore. So I'm just always paranoid about my teeth. So I like things finely uh, chopped. So they're not too, too crunchy, but again, up to you. So now that I've chopped them all up, I'm using the bowls from the Dollarama. I still use these all the time, guys. I love them. So placing all of the almonds in the bowl. And now comes the cheese. So I just get these 320 gram bags of already pre-grated cheese. This one is Tex-Mex, I believe, but you know what? I just usually like the marble and cheddar one, um, just so there's not a whole extra flavor. But again, Tex-Mex is still good in this one too. It gives it a little bit of, of a spice to it as well. Remember guys, I'm telling you, this is all customizable and I'm actually not um, measuring anything. I'm just eyeballing this. Again, I've also made this over and over and over again, guys. I will leave the exact measurements in the description box so you guys can have them, but this is, again, so simple, so customizable. So now that I've added the cheese, I almost added the whole bag of cheese. I did leave some a little bit. I We like them for eggs or something for breakfast, so... <clears throat> Sorry guys, now I'm just chopping up a little white onion. So I had a whole onion there. I'm probably cutting like an eighth of the onion here. It's really up to you again. I like the white onion though because it does taste better. There, I'm telling you guys, listen to what I'm saying when it comes to making with the ingredients though. Like, So yeah, white onion here. So I'm just going to add it to the almond and cheese mixture and I'm just going to give it a little stir just so it's um, evenly distributed. So now I'm taking the bacon that I made. So now it's kind of crisped up, crisped up to the way I like it. So I actually use four pieces. Now again, you can use three pieces, you can use five pieces. It's really how much bacon do you want? And in our household, we love bacon. So four is good. <laughs> uh, anyway, so I'm just chopping it up just with my fingers. You could cut it up as well with a knife. And again, just cutting it all up and I'm going to toss them all in together. Now, here's the big debate everyone probably has, Hellman's or Miracle Whip. Now, this recipe, I'm telling you guys, you have to, if you like Miracle Whip, you have to use Hellman's in this one though. It is so much more, it's got a lot more tang to it as well, and I just love it, and it just goes so well with cheese. So here I am, I think the recipe calls for a cup, remember, I'm going to leave it in the description box, but I'm just eyeballing it. You really want the consistency of like making a cheese ball, okay? So... I'm just using mayo and I'm probably going to add a little bit more here in just a moment after I give it a toss because if it's still loose, you want it to make you want to make sure that it's all stuck together. 
Oh my goodness, guys, like I could eat this by the spoonfuls. It is so delicious like this. My, uh, Craig and I were actually talking about the other day and I was thinking, you know what? We could also do this, put a spoonful of this over toast and throw like a fried egg over top as well. Like how good would that be? Yes, please. <laughs> so here I am plating the, the ABC dip. And again, like I said, you can make it into a ball and display it like that but I just like putting it in a bowl it's just less mess that way as well and now again just displaying everything I'm just using any cracker that you want I'm using those uh, wheat thins by the Dollar Tree gosh guys these tomato and basil crackers are a huge hit they are so delicious so I'm using those and I'm just taking a couple other types of crackers as well and just displaying them around the bowl So here it is, guys. I hope it was worth the wait. This is, again, like I said, this is a signature item in our household. I make this almost every occasion. Everywhere we go, they're always like, can you bring the ABC dip? Now, I forgot to mention, I have to give credit to my stepmom. She is the one that made this dip for me growing up as a kid. So this I always like to recreate thanks to my stepmom. So thank you so much. <laughs> I hope you guys had fun and I hope you will recreate this at home. Let me know if you do and if you like it. And please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And if you're new, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I don't think you'll be disappointed. <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys have a great day. Bye.